Now, you guys will know there's a little movie out in theaters right now called The Eternals, incredibly divisive amongst the uh, critics. The critics are completely split on it. Uh, a little more than half of them don't like it, a little less than half of them like it. They're completely divided. We haven't seen anything like that in an MCU uh, film before. This is the first MCU film ever to have a negative critic rating. It's the first time it's ever happened. However, the audience ratings have been much more friendly to it, and, you know, that's ultimately is what's going to lead to Marvel being happy, but, you know, not good that you're first. Now, I like the movie myself. I actually quite enjoy it. I don't think it's as good as Shang-Chi. I don't think it's Marvel's best movie of the year, but I did enjoy it, and it's definitely a very, very different film. And one of the main reasons the film is so different is because of the director. Chloe's out. So she was clearly the main reason this thing was so damn different. Uh, why it had such a different feel. Why it didn't have that traditional DNA of a Marvel film that we're so used to seeing. Now, a lot of people have been wondering and asking, well, what happens now? Because now that this is actually the first MCU movie to be negatively reviewed, negatively reviewed, what does this mean for Eternals moving forward? And maybe even on a more grander scale, what does it mean for Chloe Zhao and her future with the MCU? Will they have her back to do more MCU movies? Will they not? Will they even do Eternals and stuff like that? And, and we've addressed about whether they're going to do more Eternal stuff before. They're definitely going to do more Eternal stuff. But is maybe Kevin Feige now turned off of Chloe Zhao? Well, a story that's been going around here today is basically saying not only is Kevin Feige still completely thrilled with Chloe Zhao, it looks like he might be getting her to do his Star Wars movie. Now, you guys remember that some time ago, Kevin Feige announced that he was going to be doing a Star Wars movie, that it was, you know, his dream to always do a Star Wars movie. He grew up as a big Star Wars fan. He's going to do it. So the question started floating around. Who's he going to get to direct it? And then not so long ago, Chloe Zhao came out and said, you know, she would love to do a Star Wars movie sometime. And, of course, even at that time, a lot of people started putting two and two together and started thinking, huh, maybe there's something to that. Well, now there are reports going around. Now, I should stress here that none of the reports going around that Chloe Zhao is going to be doing Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie, none of these, as far as I can tell yet, are coming from the major trades. They're not coming from Variety. They're not coming from Deadline. They're not coming from The Wrap. They're not coming from Entertainment Weekly. But still, there's a number of sources online saying that Chloe Zhao is actually in talks to direct this Star Wars film. Now, I don't know if these rumors are true or not. I mean, I, I don't have any insider information on that. But let's, for the sake of the discussion, assume for a moment that it's true, that Chloe Zhao is going to be directing a Star Wars movie that Kevin Feige is going to be overseeing. I think it's a fabulous idea. I personally, I think it's a great idea. You know, you guys know I love Nomadland. Chloe Zhao's Academy Award-winning film won Best Picture at the Oscars, won her Best the Best Director Oscar. I think the movie's fantastic. I really like Eternals. Again, I know a lot of the critics are split on it. I personally really like it. Not as good as Shang-Chi, but it was very, very ambitious in what it was going for. If Chloe Zhao can come in and bring those sensibilities to a Star Wars film, I think that could be a lot of fun. I think you could see somebody that could expand the mythology of Star Wars a lot, maybe finally really go into Old Republic and start expanding, you know, our ideas, the mythologies of the Sith and the Jedi that they've never really explored before going that. I mean, I'm just pulling all this out of my ass, but it could be very, very interesting. Now, as far as Kevin Feige's Star Wars film goes, I think I'm like a lot of people where we've been wondering, is this thing even still happening? Because they first mentioned Kevin Feige was going to be doing Star Wars film quite a while ago. We haven't really heard Bo Peep from it since. But apparently, it still is in motion. So anyway, the question is for you guys. What do you think about this story? Number one, do you even believe the reports that Chloe Zhao will be doing Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie? Assuming for a moment that you do believe it, what do you think of the choice of Chloe Zhao? Were you hoping for somebody else? you think this is a good fit? Do you think this movie's even going to happen at all? Whatever you guys are thinking about it, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.